Hey folks, Frank the Pest Geek here. So we're doing an initial on a home that used to be um, a short-term rental and this new couple bought it. It's a duplex unit. They bought it. They all of a sudden find roaches everywhere and they don't know what's been going on. So we did the initial inspection, the initial service. Let me show you about American roaches uh, and in this case, Australian roaches. These are large roaches. They look similar. People call them water bugs, palmetto bugs. Uh, this one in particular is an Australian roach, and sometimes people tell me, well, I have German roaches, I have both types, and it turns out they only have one. So let me show you this for a minute. So here we have them in all sizes. Here's a nymph. Here are different instars. These are what are known as instars. They're all different sizes. There's an adult. And when you flip that over, I know it's kind of gross. If you flip it over... You see that yellowing behind what is looks like the head or a pair of eyes? That's known as the prothorax. And that right there, that yellowing, that looks like bad eyes. You almost look like bad eyes. This is still not a full-grown adult. Um, I'm going to show you what a full-grown adult looks like. But see how they're all different sizes? And they will start out like that, you know, and people think, oh, they got German roaches because they just see this. Now, the interesting part about this is that this is something that's been going on for way over a year. This didn't happen because it takes from the time that they're born to get to here to get to full grown adult size is about a year and a half. So this has been going on for a long time. Um, there was another company here. You can see there's full. Look what they did. This is the monitors are full. Um, the issue with this home is ceiling. They got a septic tank. This hasn't been used for a while. They're just gonna come in through all of your sinks. Uh, when that dries out, that U-trap dries out, if you don't have a good U-trap, and it dries out in three to four days, those guys are gonna move in. So we have evidence all over the house of adults. Let me show you something. Here's a full-grown adult. Flip that over, all right? And there's the difference. I'm going to show you. Take it back over here. Let me grab it by the wing. He's still alive, by the way. They must have sprayed because when you find them all bent out of shape like that and all bent over, um, look at the difference between a nymph that isn't fully developed, still in its last, like growing, and then let me flip it over. And you see those, what I talked to you about the bat eyes? yellowish and you turn it around with the light the light can hit it see so how does he handle those bugs that's disgusting uh, there it is there's those bat eyes looking um that's a full-grown adult so yeah so we're looking at a year and a half let me show you something else let me show you the there was a monitor here from another company they were monitoring the situation personally i don't like these monitors we don't use them uh, we use full-blown mice, and but there is, let me see if I can, there's that Euthyga. There it is right there. That's that purse-like looking, and she laid it right there on the monitor, and there is the excrement. People think they got mice. You don't have mice. That's the excrement. So there you go.